for the team iPhone. iPhone. Uh, what is your favorite? Who's your favorite artist? Wow, Jay Z, Beyonce, Stevie Wonder. Stevie Wonder, okay. Uh, Frankie Beverly. What was the name of your church home growing up? Third Baptist, San Francisco. Uh, favorite teacher? Homer Zell Davis. Uh, let's see. What version do the Bible use to it varies. New Living Translation, Good News Translation, New International Version, it just varies. What's Good News Translation? It's a uh, modern translation. Uh, matter of fact, it's the first one I really read and understood when I started reading the Bible. And uh, it's kind of a precursor to what? The Message, New International. I mean, it's, it's, it was modern language before they became popular. Got it. Yeah. West, what church would you go to? Bedside Baptist. No. Uh, <laughs> uh, that was good. I don't, I don't know. I don't know. I love Friendship West. Good stuff. How many members do you have in the church? Between ten and 12,000. Got it. How big is the um, facility? The building, the line? 150,000 square feet, the facility itself, and then we have 60 acres. Oh, wow. And then when was the church built? This one was built in 2006. We moved in January 1st, 2006. Good stuff. Yeah. Tell me about the first time you met President Obama. See, the thing is, he acts like we met before I remember meeting him because he was a member of Trinity and I was always doing their revival every summer. And so, you know, he would act like when I would see him, like we go way back, like we boys. And I just didn't recall him like that, you know. Okay. So, uh, you know, for me, our first meeting, for real, for real, was when he was running for president, and I won't forget it, it was uh, April 2007, and he called me on my cell phone, I'm tripping like, how you got my cell phone? And he said, what do you mean how you get your cell phone? And I uh, said, I'm coming to Dallas tomorrow, and I want to spend 30 minutes with you. I said, huh? I said, okay. And so he came, we met right over there <laughs> and uh, went into my office and, you know, he gave me his pitch, you know. And this is April of 07. Oh, wow. This is way before, 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 you know, and so. Did you know he had the juice when you met him? Did you feel like, oh, yeah, oh, he's oh, yeah. oh yeah, oh, yeah, oh, yeah. What was he like? like what well, he well, I'm going to tell you what killed me, and, and this still messes with me. I tell, I tell this, and I'm, I mean, it blew my mind. I was saying, okay, man, first of all, you're going to have to win the black vote. Hillary has the black vote. He says, Hillary is not going to win the black vote. I'm going to win the black vote. I said, how do you know you win the black vote? He said, well, first of all, I'm going to win Iowa. I said, you black, you're not going to win Iowa. He said, yes, I am. He said, I'm going to win Iowa. He said, what do you know about me? I said, you're a community organizer. He said, exactly. Iowa is a caucus. It's based on how well you organize the communities. So once I unleash my ground game, which is rooted in my community organizing in Chicago, I got, I got Iowa. When I win Iowa, black people are gonna say, whoa, who is this? And when black people see me and see that I'm down, <laughs> then you know we win. And so he said, then I'm gonna win New Hampshire, and I got South Carolina, and so, Everything that man predicted, I mean everything except for New Hampshire came true. Oh wow. Everything. So I was blown away by his poise and confidence. Uh, ironically, John McCain had attacked, had attacked him the week before mm -hmm. in the media. And so I said, man, what's up with John McCain? And that's when I discovered that, you know, he was not one to politically clap back. Mm -hmm. You know, he was gonna let you say your dirt mm -hmm. and then maintain the high ground and so I mean I'm not gonna lie that was our first time really sitting down talking you know before then you know we saw each other here and there uh, and like I said he says he heard me at Trinity but uh, that was our real first meeting and we spent you know time together and then from that time on I'm telling you every time I'd see him because what I would do I would always say you know hello I'm Frederick Haynes Man, I know you quit. Don't do that. <laughs> and uh, 
And then he start talking, like I said, like we boys who go way back. And I'm like, we ain't boys who go way back, but you know, if you want to act like it, I ain't going to complain. <laughs> well, yeah. good. What? So tell me about, uh, do you have time, much time for TV? What I do, I carve out time for TV. Okay. And so I have shows that I'm not going to miss. I'm not going to miss Power. I'm sick and tired <laughs> of them only giving us 10 episodes. Okay. But, uh, you know, once July 1st hits, mm -hmm. you know, just don't mess with me because I'm watching Power, Power. you know, okay. period, the end. Uh, I've become a real strong fan of How to Get Away with Murder okay. uh, because my girl is just the greatest actress, you know, walking the planet. Mm -hmm. And then you know Shonda Rhimes is really going social because mm -hmm. this past year I mean they were hitting on that criminal justice system mm -hmm. and so I've got to see how to get away with murder now I have some other shows that if I let you know about you know y'all may I'll judge me you. yeah I'd be judged and so <laughs> you know like okay so I can say this so I met uh, Shawnee O'Neill she came down when we had the uh, protest uh -huh. last year so you know, I was already watching basketball wise, but now really? I gotta watch that? basketball. Yeah, and oh and God. it's so funny, but check this out. Uh I was I texted her uh last week and I said, I just wanna say congratulations on your new season, basketball wise, plus you got Shawnee's, you know, house or whatever you call it. And so she said, Pastor Haynes, please do not watch basketball wise. <laughs> Just watch Shawnee's house. I said I'm already hooked. I can't. I I got to see it. I got to see what's up with Evelyn. And so uh, have you watched Dear White People on that? Dear White People. Dear White People is the truth. Yes. Yeah, it is. Yeah. I feel like we can write. We can really package some good information for white folks so they yeah. can have like. Some homework assignments. Like, they need this it. This is what I want to say to you. Right. I know you can't take it in the tone I need to give it to you. Right. Because you can't take that aggression. Right. But you deserve it. But I need you to hear me when Thank I you. say. Thank you. This is an issue. I need y'all to figure that out. Thank you. Because I, I need y'all to do. Like that. today, Starbucks is doing their thing, where you know everyone is you know supposed to be going to this training. Well, they need to see dear white people. <laughs> okay. Yeah. yeah. They need to see dear white people. Okay. Let's see what else is on Netflix. No, let me ask you about your social media. Do you do your social media or you have a person? My daughter handles my uh, Instagram because I just have not, A, I'm not a selfie person. Gotcha. And, and I don't like taking pictures of what I'm eating gotcha. and gotcha. all this other stuff that I often see. And, I'm, and, I, and I, I just don't like looking at myself that much. Ah, okay. So that ain't me. So my daughter said, well, daddy, I'll take it over. So she does it every now and then. I'll do something, okay. but if if it's a photo with me, mm -hmm. I didn't do that one. Okay. If it's a photo of someone else, something else, some calls, that's me. Okay. Uh, Twitter, I do Twitter, okay. and Facebook, I do my Facebook. You do your Facebook. Yeah. Okay. So out of all those social media avenues, which one are you most comfortable with? Probably Twitter. Okay. Yeah. Oh yeah, oh yeah, you you you, you, you got me. You got me. I was me. like, uh, I bet it's this social media person at church that be nope. picking up my mission. Mm -mm. It's probably oh, no. not really him. It's me, it's me. Good stuff. No, I appreciate it. Especially when you uh when you go places and you meet cool people and you take pictures and I'm like, see, he understand we need to see that too. Like we don't get to be and, and, and I'm trying to I'm trying to get with that. So like yeah, so like <laughs> when I even when I ran in the comment, it was real funny. We we're having a conversation. I said, man, I don't do this, but you know the age <laughs> we're in. Can we do a picture? He said, man, yeah. I was gonna ask you if you was gonna do one. So I said, wow. I said I got to get with it. So uh, I saw John Lewis the next week yeah. in the airport. I said, Congressman, I don't do this, but you know I know this is where we are. Yeah, oh, for sure. Yeah, so, so I'm I'm getting better with that. Good. We appreciate yeah. you follow. Um, you do lots of cool things. You tell us about it on Sunday. You say, "Oh, I was getting on a flight, and then you know there was a person that had on shorts. <laughs> we was in Detroit. Right, and I was right. Like, what are you doing? He was like, it's not about where I'm going. Where I've right. been is about where I'm going. And I was right. like, yeah, I always travel. <laughs> right. But we always going, you know, and you you most of the time you're preaching or you know speaking at a conference or something, but. I'm sure you're meeting, uh, you know, people who follow you. Oh, and yeah. They support you and they want yeah. to be down. So we appreciate you sharing yeah. that. Oh, yeah. All right. Don't push me because I'm close to the to edge. To the edge, yeah. Okay, it's a mess.
and makes me wonder how I keep from going under. It's like a jungle sometimes and makes me wonder how I keep from going under. It's like a... I messed up. Oh, I'm sorry, my bad. I in the alley with the baseball bat I tried to get away but I couldn't get far cause a man with a tow truck ripped my car push me cause I'm close to the edge I'm trying not to lose my head <laughs> it's like a jungle sometimes it makes me wonder how I keep from going under window watching all the cars go as a reason though crazy lady living, living in a bag eating out the garbage down at the peep show, watching all the creeps. Back home, she went to the city, got social security. She had to get a pimp, she couldn't make it on her own. Push me, cause I'm close to the edge. I'm trying not to lose my head. <laughs> it's like a jungle sometimes, it makes me wonder how I keep from going under. Okay. It's like a jungle sometimes It makes me wonder how I keep them going under But if God got us then we gon' be alright We gon' be alright We gon' be alright We gon' be alright Do you hear me? Do you feel me? We gon' be alright Uh We gon' be alright Oh that's not You need the words I need the words This is your song. Thank you. you. I appreciate you, Thank Councilwoman. You for just a, a couple minutes and uh, just sharing your word. Just understand that we support you. We love you. We appreciate all you do for us and the community. That means a lot. Thank and, you. And uh, keep being the black church. I appreciate that. I appreciate that. Everybody don't like being black, so. <laughs> Have a good one. All right. Thank you. All right.